shapes, mistakes, misfits Raised on a diet of broken biscuits Oh, oh we don't look the same as you I wondered whether we could try a bit of live improvisation along along the lines of what you do with okay. the kids. Who starts? I, I well, well, normally we get you on stage. So okay. We'd say, okay, I'm on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our keen volunteer Jarvis. Big round of applause yeah. for Jarvis. Woo! Thank you. And so we'd, we'd then ask you, uh, Jarvis, we'd say, what would you like the story to be about? Uh, a panther. Mm. Okay. I like my story to be about a panther. A panther. So yeah. we'd start the story. And we'd say like this: It was a dark, cold night, and Jarvis was sat on his doorstep where he sat every night, looking up at the fat moon as it broke through the clouds. He sat next to his best friend Kim, a little owl, who told him of his dreams. Woohoo! Oh, Jarvis, I've been dreaming about some wonderful travelling we could do. Maybe we could travel away to a far-off land and discover new and exciting animals. And then Jarvis said, That sounds like a good idea, but I haven't really got enough money to buy an aeroplane ticket or anything. Well, said the owl, I've got a solution. And he produced from his pocket the most amazing... I've got here with me some doodlings that I've been making. I think if we maybe put them together and make a small art show, we could maybe scrape together a few pennies and sail away together. And so in the medley of art, Jarvis and the owl began to create some beautiful pictures. And then Jarvis suddenly exclaimed in a thick Geordie accent, Why I... (laughs) I, uh, is any, uh, is anybody going to buy these paintings, or <laughs> Bonnie lad? And just as he said that, what should arrive? None other than a Geordie panther. For you all know panthers are Geordies, who stumbled through the forest in his Newcastle United shirt, bearing Cheerer on the back, drinking some Newquay brown ale. And he looked at Jarvis, and Jarvis looked at the panther, and the panther said, in a thick Geordie accent... Oh my god, that's incredible artwork. I've never seen anything like it. <sighs> Please, I must buy all of these paintings at once and it maybe I could commission a few more for my friend Toby, the Birmingham goat. And Toby, the Birmingham goat, watched as Jarvis told him all about his artwork, again in a thick Geordie accent, but this time rhyming. Well, I am great friends with an owl... Before I met him, I used to scowl quite a lot. But now we are doing paintings together. We shall go away to a beautiful land and be happy forever and ever, why I? Why, and as Jarvis said these words, all the animals of the forest, who were all in fact Geordies, for I say this was a forest, it was more of a car park in the back of Iceland in Sunderland, they all emerged and began to buy the artwork. They were flying off the shelves and flying and flying and flying until suddenly realised they had enough money to go anywhere they wanted. And so the owl again sat with Jarvis on that cold, dark step that night. They looked up at the fat moon, but this time they were wealthy and they decided to go on an adventure to... Iceland. Yeah! (laughs) That's the end of the story. And the, the moral of this story is... What's the moral of the story, Jarvis? If you can dream it, you can do it. Yeah, remember so that. That's kids. nicked from Blades of Glory. That. Yeah, it's a good moral. <laughs> Not to worry. Right? So what we're going now is go, ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Jarvis. Good, good accents. Well, I, I, I wouldn't totally agree with that good accents anyway. Uh, so thank you very much to Robin and Partridge, and they're actually going to do their. You know, they talked about they do shows for adults, and they will be performing at the Edinburgh Festival from the nineteenth of August. Uh, you can see them at the GRV. I'm not sure what the GRV is, but it, if you know what it is, you can see them at it. And then they'll be doing some shows in London in September. If you want to find out about that, uh, you go to www.robinandpartridgealloneword.com for more details. 